Hello everybody and welcome to another kind of third party, fourth party knockoff review. In today's video I'm taking a look at what I believe is the first offering from Bombbox. It is their Red Dragonfly. Now this is kind of a modified and upgraded, uh, greatly upgraded version of the Lockjaw Dogs that came with the unique toys Parakill. Uh, now this is of course kind of based on his age and of extinction appearance. Uh, this is vastly superior in my opinions. Uh, it is a very nice piece. I'm uh, not sure what the demand is for these. Personally I collect them and I love having the hounds but I don't know how many others <laughs> do but let's take a closer look at what we have here. We have a very nicely sculpted torso a nice black wash over that brown. We have a very good sculpt on that head. Love those eyes staring directly at you. Now we have more of a hair-like look to these. This is almost kind of very hyena looking in appearance. A really nice kind of muscle definition up and over those shoulders as well. If we bring in one of the original hounds, as you can see, there's quite a bit of a difference. I think they've managed to capture the CG model a lot better, but don't get me wrong, I still love these hounds. Uh, they're good fodder, but I think I'm gonna have this as my kind of top hound, kind of like the alpha male, and then he's gonna lead the army of angry mutts. <laughs> As articulation is kind of what sets this apart from its counterparts. We have a rock up and down in that head as well as a ball hinge. So we've got rotation in that neck socket there and a pivot up and down. We have a jaw that opens up and really nicely sculpted teeth there. We have a back arch, which really does lend well to this really striking neck and muscle definition there. I like how that slides inwards and outwards. Uh, the only downsides of having that slide in and out like that is you kind of have to really compress that head down on that ball socket to make the neck and head look kind of more natural, in my opinion. The arms. Uh, the front legs, again, are ball mounted, so we've got a nice bit of range in there. Could have done with maybe a pivot built in there as well, just to get a slightly wider stance, but it's still wider than the original. We have that bend on the knee, and we have ball mounted feet, so we can get a nice pivot on those. Coming to these rear legs, we've got up and down motion all the way around. We can rotate that inwards and outwards. Again, a lot more variation on these. We've got that bend on the knee. And again, we've got that ball mount here and that additional bend on that lower calf as well. So taking a look at his posability. Okay, yes, his legs don't arch out as wide as the Unique Toys equivalent, but that's due to this muscle definition and it looks, as far as robotic kind of animals go <laughs> more natural because you've got that kind of head tilt going on and uh, I just think I don't know they've definitely made it look closer to its target and they've done a really nice job uh, build quality the unique toys one is still slightly heavier uh, the plastic quality is good on this but it's very very lightweight the first product as long as they keep up with affordability, then I can see them being very good at what they do. Would like some kind of torso coloured screw caps for this uh, piece here and here, but uh, beggars can't be choosers. I just love this uh, hind leg section, all of that kind of definition in there. It's a really nice looking piece. 
And just to give you an idea of how he looks with the rest of his pack, we have Perakil at the back there. Uh, he definitely looks like the alpha male there, doesn't he? He's got a very obedient pack though, and they're ready to pounce on any intruders they find on the ship. And here we have him now about to pounce on Ratchet. If you have the kind of MPM masterpiece series from the movies, and you collect the likes of these Iron Warrior figures. Uh, I think this is a very fun toy, and you could kind of have him tearing your Autobots or even Decepticons. He's a bounty hunter. He doesn't care who he sets his hounds on, uh, whoever pays the highest price. You can have him setting those hounds on that character. For a bit of cross continuity, here he is with Masterpiece Bumblebee doing a bit of a rocket punch to try and knock the hound out. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, a very brief, quick review, but uh, informative nonetheless, yes? <laughs> uh, does exactly what it needs to. It's my chief hound and I really like what they've done. Uh, the gun from a lockdown fits on nicely. Obviously you're not gonna get the full extent of the upwards motion on that torso uh, but it definitely looks the part it still fits in with the color scheme nicely and uh, yeah i think they've done a pretty darn decent job uh, if anything i would like the hinge on those back legs just so we can bring them out further so there's a ball socket and a hinge on there uh, but beggars can't be choosers and i would also have liked the legs to be able to bend just that a little bit more downwards so he can do it almost like a cat per like stretch but for a first attempt very impressed indeed i'd like to thank shozy for making this review possible i have included a link to the product on their store and until next time from myself and the red dragonfly uh, goodbye <laughs> <laughs>